So in this video, we're going to pick a random item from a list of, not from a list, from an array of strings. So I'm going to have a public string uh, names equals new string. Actually, I think, can we, I think I can just start typing these values in here. So um, I'm going to add this to here. So I'm going to do uh, populate label. And I've got my names in here. So let's come up with 10 names. So I'm going to choose a random value from these 10 names. So I'm going to do my usual Fred, Wilma, Betty, Barney, uh, Ralph, uh, Alice, uh, Norton, um, oh, what was his wife? Um, his wife was called... Uh, if anyone knows, please write in the comments what Norton's wife was called. I can't remember. Ralph, Alice, Norton, Barb. It's not Barb, but, you know, she's from Stranger Things. Uh, Lucas and um, uh, uh, Eleven. Okay. So there's our ten names. So once we have our ten names... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a, a random name from there. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to create a public text uh, text box, and I'm going to add using um, Unity Engine dot UI, and that gives us our UI. And then I'm going to say um, int um, int 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 uh, index equals and then this is going to be uh, random dot range and then zero to names dot length and that's going to take us from zero to length minus one that's our randomness and then I'm going to say text box dot text equals names index all right so Fairly simple, can't say fairer than that. However, there's always, there's always some problems with these kind of things. So there's a populate there, and then I'm gonna drag my text into here, and then I'm gonna run it. And you see we get Wilma, uh, Wilma, Betty, we'll wait a couple of seconds, maybe we've got Fred, I guess it's going to be Barney next, Lucas, I was so wrong, Ralph, okay, so we're getting random values here, and this is all well and good, but it's kind of cluttering up the, the UI in here, and it also doesn't quite fit in with the, with the sort of aesthetic of of uh, making it kind of object oriented. So what I want to do is I want to create uh, another mono behavior here. And then this mono behavior here is going to be called array extensions. Now an extension is just a class that allows us to place methods on an object that we can't extend from. Now we can extend from, from things like uh, strings or integers or any, any of these kind of basic types because if we did, there'd be a security risk. So all of these are sealed, we can't access them. But what we can do is we can attach these extensions. That's why they're called extensions because you think of a house, you have an extension. It's not part of the original property but you, it's you know part of the house now but I still can't get access to the inner workings of a string. I still have only access to like the, the public values of it. So in this case, all I want to do is I want to add additional functionality to um, my um, an array. So I'm going to do static class, and then this is array extensions. Now, um, let's say I'm, I'm let's 
let's create just a basic extension just now, okay? So let's do public um, static, and then we'll call this int count. Now, one of the things that bugs me senselessly about uh, an array is it uses length. It doesn't use count, it uses length. And I, and I always have a problem with it. And this is the um, just a, a kind of petty way of fixing this. But anyway, it just gives, gives you an idea of what you can do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in this string array, and then I'm going to do return uh, return uh, array equals null, and then I'm going to pass back zero. Otherwise, I'm going to pass back array dot length. Okay. And now, if I go to my populate label, I can now type in names dot cou. Oh, why is that not working? Public static int count. Why is that not working? I'm getting, have I got a, an error? Um, no, why is it not working? Count, why? why? Uh, so you can see that this is an extension method from array extensions and it returns uh, the, the number of items. So now what I can do is instead of using count, instead of using length, I can do names.count. I don't know why it's not letting me do this. Oh, name, that's why. Oh, okay. Uh, so now I've got names.count here and then I can run this and it'll do exactly the same things it did before. So Betty, Lucas, all that kind of stuff. So that's great. But let's say I have um, an array of integers. So I have public int some int. Okay. So I want to do the exact same thing for integers. Um, if I go into here and, I, and I, I make that five and I have, you know, one, five, four, two, three. Okay, so I do those random integers in there. Um, sum int dot count doesn't, it doesn't have a count. So how can I make this generic? Well, I can actually use generics. So instead of, instead of saying um, this string array, I can use this mysterious type T. And what I do is I specify the type value in here. Now, it's still an array, but it's an array of objects, some kind of objects. And when I go back to here, through the magic of syntactic sugar, I don't need to do string. I don't need to do that. I can do that, but it's redundant. You actually see it goes a little bit dull because it knows that it's redundant. So it, it, it infers the type from the, the values that you pass it. So I can now do sum int dot count, and you see that now I have an extension method of uh, for any array. So now what that means is I can do something like this. I can do public static t random and then I can specify the array, t, uh, t, array. I need to specify the type in here. And now I can say, um, if, uh, let's make sure it's, it's valid. So if array equals null, return default t. So whatever the default is for t. Otherwise, I want to return a random value from inside the array. So in this case, I want to do something like int index equals random dot uh, range. I need to add using unity engine. 
no, 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 range, uh, and then it's going to be zero, comma, and then it's going to be array dot length, and then um, random dot Turn array uh, index. So over here, this is I have a name clash because I have this this function here. So this up here just renames Unity Engine dot random rnd. I could call it anything I want. I could call it uh, Satchmo. I could call it anything. It doesn't matter what it, I call it. it. Just as long as I refer to it down here as the same name. So I check to see if, if uh, the array is null, and if it is, then I pass in the default. If the array is null, then this probably won't work at all anyway. Um, and then I get a random integer, and then I return that random value back. So I'm going to get rid of this count, because we don't need that anymore. Just cluttering things up. I'm going to get rid of my using statements that I don't need. And so my populate label, instead of all of this now goes to, if I delete that there, um, names dot random. And now this allows me to pick a random name. And just to prove it's a random integer, I'm going to do uh, some dot random. So now we're going to get a name and a random number between one and five. Wilma 2, 11, 5, Ralph 2. Okay, and so that's extension methods. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is part of the Video A Day in September 2017 videos. Uh, if you liked it or you didn't like it, hit the appropriate button below. Uh, subscribe, so if you hit the, the little icon over there, then you'll get notified uh, especially when you hit the little alarm icon, that's the really important part, apparently. Uh, then you'll get notified when a new video goes up. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.